I don't know what they're called. Those spaces between seconds. But I feel like people take them for granted. People always seem to be in a rush, running from their own shadow because the longer they stand, the heavier it gets. And so people run for the shade and wait for the sun to go down. But when they sleep, they dream of sunlight and long for the warmth to touch their skin. I think people have a bad habit of closing their eyes for the roller coaster and then crying because they missed it. I'm always being told, you only live once. And people say it like it's a bad thing, but as a poet, I disagree. Could you imagine doing this all over again? Figuring out what you're going to do with your life after high school. Realizing your parents aren't perfect. Life is beautiful because we only get to experience it once. You know, when you look between the heartbreaks and the rainy days, you can see life in all her divinity. I look at the people around me and I realize how truly beautiful they are. And the fact that they might not be here tomorrow makes me love them completely today. Life is too short and my heart is too big to truly hate anyone. In Dead Poets Society, Robin Williams once said, The human race is filled with passion. In medicine, law, business, engineering, these are all noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, art, these are what we stay alive for. Life is an art form and it envelops me wholeheartedly. Life reminds me of the moon. You can never quite encapsulate it. I always found it funny that you can never really capture something that's always there with something you always have on you. It's something you have to appreciate in the here and now. And you have to decide whether you want to or not. The moon won't beg you for it. It doesn't have to. It doesn't need to. Beautiful things don't ask for attention. Life is too short to have to beg to be loved. I think if there is a God, he must envy us because he knows that any day could be our last. And I find comfort in knowing I'll die one day because I've collected enough roses to stop and smell. I know my life is limited, and I know I can't do it all, but sometimes I wish I could. I wish to read every book and play every instrument and speak every language and live every life. I wish to know everything and nothing at all. I wish to be a lover and to be loved. I wish to be the artist and the muse. And sometimes I feel like just one life isn't enough. But that's not how things work and that's okay. And it's okay to cry about it. It's okay to feel. Everyone seems to be so afraid of emotion like that's the shadow they're running from. Emotions are something to be avoided. But as a poet, I disagree. I am an irrevocably, incredibly, stupidly sensitive person. That everything that happens to me, I feel very intensely. Every emotion I have, I feel in the pit of my soul. And I'm so thankful that all I can do is cry. Because when you think about things deeply, and you think about things a lot, and you think about how you feel, and you think about others, then you aren't afraid to open your eyes. And I'm not saying it's not scary, but at least I can say I didn't miss the ride.